All right, buddy. Welcome back. So we are going after the cult in this episode. Going after Kane, and I guess we're we have the option to try to. Uh... Wait, have I already been there? Philip says it's already discovered. Huh. I guess we have the option to try to uh, get them on our side. So we'll see how that goes. Is this building? This wasn't always here. I thought a substation was, but. Kane's sermon. Kane is our leader, our voice of the beyond. Okay. So there's an enemy over here. I have no words for you. I outsider. have no words for you, outsider. We all fighting. Oh, jeez. Oh, is it a serial killer? Mistake. Damn it, we'll be back. Alright. Ah! Uh! See? I'm on your side. Damn. I'm hit. Assist you. Wait, you are he? Uh, this is a temple of abstinence? Yes, one must abide with abstinence, brother, if they do not wish to be consumed by their own appetites. And this applies to all things, brother. Without abstinence, we would all starve. Um, so what do you do? I am the prophet of abstinence, a vessel for Cain's will. As such, I ensure those who join our ranks know the value of abstinence. Hmm. Are you one of the prophets I'm supposed to, like, win over or something? Uh, what can you tell me about Cain? I dare not describe Cain in my own words at the risk of being cut down. You must speak with him if you are worthy. Okay. Another prophet? 
Kill. Kill. <laughs> Hold your tongue, Wastrel. We have nothing to discuss. Who are you? I am Mother Death. Your voice is a little bit loud. It's not a bad thing. What are you doing up here? I am waiting for enlightenment. The gift, the true prophet's eternal life. I am near death. Oh. Kill! Kill! <laughs> oh, hello. How do you do? Give me the switch. Hey man, ever want to see the sharp end of a knife? Huh? Huh? You wanna? Well, if it ain't the Coria, the fuck you want? Seance's little nemesis? Lucky I ain't supposed to kill your ass right now. How about you and me take a little walk into the desert, eh? Show you what it means to fuck a Seance. What, hot and dry? <laughs> uh, who are you? Ain't none of your business. You're lucky I'm even speaking to you right now. What the hell do you... Uh, you as negotiator? Oh, look. You can see the obvious. Get the fuck out of here, scab. We ain't got nothing for you. Okay. Have you heard hey, I ain't got nothing to say to you. Alright. Robbie's shack. Maintenance shed. this area once before for some other quest mod I, I think it was depths of depravity because wasn't there like a um there was that like secret terminal communication network that we had to go find that the ncr gave us uh what is king doing I've always been informed on what Kane is doing, but this, leaving the compound and having someone pretend to be him while he's away, it's ingenious, sure, but I have no clue as to why. Maybe he's having second thoughts about this little war he started against the NCR. Better not. No one strikes fear into those soldiers like he does. He said he didn't know when he'd be back. Could be months or could be years. Still, he's having me and Robbie run his business while this new Kane that was picked out pretends to be the leader. Funny thing is, I think he's so drugged out of his mind that he believes it too. This new king doesn't care about security and only wants to lay the offensive. I can't oppose him as doing so would break the illusion that I'm guessing Kane was trying to set. He also wants to start taking in more people instead of just what we gather from the fiends. Should I defy Kane's orders? Sure, this new guy lets me deal with prisoners in any way I want, but if he keeps pushing against the NCR, they're going to push back. We're not ready to do this level of pushing yet. I need to build up our ranks some more. I don't think this new guy gets that yet. Uh, is this the same message? It's the 
Same message with two different names. Okay. Salvatore's journal. Ooh, we got the deets. Let's read the deets. The journal has detailed evidence that Cianci has the intent of killing Kane once they gain his trust. Maybe Kane should have a look at this. Ooh, we got the deets. Now let me get all the junk. Get back. All right, got all the junk. Hello. Salvatore, you got anything to say? What the hell do you want? Um. Best quick save. What the hell do you Found your journal. What the fuck? Where did you get that? You left it on your bed. Listen, man. Maybe we can work out some sort of deal here. Maybe Kane would like to see this. You would. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us here again. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I don't know if that broke anything if we did that. Maybe we should have talked to Kane first. Just in case. Alright. We'll talk to Kane first, and then, if need be, we can, uh, go Black Bell. Good morning, Salvatore. brother. You know the prophet? What do you require? Um, who are you? I am the holy gatekeeper of Kane's temple. Okay. What do you require? I wish to enter. Only those with true devotion can enter the Holy Sanctum. You must leave now. Well, how do I... How do I prove my worth? You must bring a sacrifice of Deathclaw. We have slain five beasts. You are worthy to enter. The hands will be proof. Either that or you can join our ranks and work your way up to meet His Holiness. Hmm. Or perhaps not. I don't think we have room for you. Um, what do you do here? You must talk to Cain. He will bring you to enlightenment. Well, you just said I can't go in. Alright, well... You want Deathclaw hands? Right? What do you re... Only... Oh. I was gonna go back to the sink and grab my Deathclaw hands. <laughs> we literally got like 20 of them last, uh, like two episodes ago. I am sorry, brother. What did that course, say? You may enter. What? Hold on, what? Hey, Kane. What, what was that key called? Where's my key ring? Something fucking key. <laughs> uh. Key of the Great Zala. What?
The holy fucking key. <laughs> nice. Alright. And with this holy fucking key... What the hell do you want? Uh... Who are you? Who am I? Who the hell are you? I'm motherfucking Robbie, bitch! <laughs> Without me, Kane would still be living in a shack! <laughs> tell me more about yourself, motherfucking Robbie. You dumb bitch, I just told you! <laughs> uh... So... <laughs> what do you do here? What the hell do you think? I help Kane make all of his deals. Without me, he'd just be fucking confusing everyone. Okay. You set up a deal with Cianci? No, they came to us. Which says to me they seem... Well... Wait, why the fuck are you asking me this? Why the hell am I talking to you? Unless you want drugs, then maybe you should get the fuck out. <laughs> uh... What the hell do you want? They sell drugs? Hell yeah! Why don't I show you what we've got? I'll give you a discount. Okay, well, why are you giving me a discount? Uber Psycho? Oh yeah, I'll buy some Uber Psycho. You want a gun? Here. <laughs> there you go. do you want? Um, got any work? I don't know. You seem kind of worthless to me. I got in the front door. <laughs> well, alright. If you say so. There's this guy that used to be in Kane's high ranks. He just happened to leave with a great deal of our merchandise. You find this guy and bring back all that he stole. You do this well, and maybe I'll have more work for you. Oh yeah, take this. It's the official bounty notice on his head. Some other people are looking for him too, so, uh, yeah. Get it done fast. Buckethead? <laughs> uh, who are you? I'm Sheen. I help Kane. I'm Sheen. I'm Sheen. What do you do here? I take care of problems, when Kane has problems. Alright, story? I come from Shai. I used to work there as a mercenary. That's all you need to know. Leave me alone before I rip your tongue out. We're having such a good conversation. Hello there, can I help you? Um, have any work? If you had any red scorpion poison glands, I could use those for an experiment I'm planning. Yeah, I probably got some at the sink. Oh, forgive me. I'm Dr. Clearwater. I work on the drug synthesis here. Okay. Oh, what? I told you already. Well, I help replicate some of the best drugs ever used. I call it Uber Psycho. Of course, Kane gets the credit, but who am I to complain? Uh, the inventor? <laughs> uh, didn't I already tell you? Sorry, you'd have to ask Kane. Okay. Who are you? Um... Why are they just walking around with knives out? Mojave... So is King back here or I don't really 
get how any of this works. Oh, what, um, what's, what's going on here? Desert Ranger, nice. Yeah, stacks of Sunset Sarsaparilla boxes, always a good place for loot. Found three Desert Ranger combat armors. Alright, uh, is Kane up top? Hello. The Prophet King. Well, I guess I'll just go through the terminal while I'm here. He chose me. He chose me to preach in his image. Oh, today is a wonderful day indeed, if I do say so myself. Our Lord Cain approached me and asked if th that I'd serve as his prophet to guide his mission while he fled east. It is as if I'm his son. I am to take his name and spread his word through the needle. Anything to aid you, Holy Father, I said this to him with pride. I'm ashamed that I could not hold back my sins. I hope that he can forgive that. I am now his prophet, the Holy Prophet Cain. He did not leave without leaving behind his word. His word was gold, his words were grand. As I have taken his name, the miracle the child, Robbie will be guiding my efforts to hold the true Cain's word. Mr. Klansman will hold the hand of the miracle child safely in this regard, and Clearwater will transform the words so that they can be injected into their thoughts. I have taken uh, many prophets as we hold this new warehouse, Pain, abstinence, rage, and death. I don't think we've met pain yet. Uh, these are the new trials that our new followers must go through to prove themselves, even if they are not yet aware that they want to join us. These trials will bring them to the light, as Cain himself has said. Pain, abstinence, rage, and death are all thoughts that you hold dear to survive this harsh land. Once we get everyone to see that, everything will be okay. The NCR attacks grow great on our farmlands. We've lost many that knew how to maintain our crops. Sad. If it were not for our newfound brother, Hamish, we would soon be lost. Cain would be angry, and we would not reach the paradise that he promised. Clansman has created a place, a sanctuary, should the NCR dare attack our home. It is where I will hide from my enemies with those who follow me and be allowed to continue our practices. It is located in a cave a short distance away from our farmlands near the cliffside. You can see a small dent in the cliff that is where we shall hide. Regardless, these invasions by the NCR need to cease. Thankfully, new friends have descended from the heavens to answer this prayer. They call themselves the Cianci family and they claim that they can save us from, from them if they provide assistance. I am not aware if this Cianci person is aware of our power, but I hope he sees the wisdom we carry sooner or later. He must follow our Lord Cain and his plan. We will fight the bear in his name, and when the time comes, he'll return to liberate their souls. It'll be a beautiful day. Okay. What? Uh, was that in the NCR bio? I don't remember. Uh, who are you? I am Cain, the reincarnation of the Holy Prophet himself. Um, what are you doing here? Why, we are doing the work of the Lord. Guiding the populace with the voice. A voice that one need only make one with themselves to hear. Mm-hmm. Of course, the voice must spread. I see that you too see the wisdom of our Lord. You have started the path, have you? Uh...
I wish to ask that you break the alliance between you and CNC. Your voice is silent. For you are not one of us. You must follow the path, or you can become enlightened with my ear, brother. Hmm. Well, we could just give him the book, but let's let's do some of the actual. Hi. How are you today? It's available here. Um. Hello there. Can I help you? Okay, so you wanted rad scorpion glands. I remember that. And you wanted me to go after a bounty. Okay. Holy fucking key. <laughs> Let's go get those rad scorpion glands. And Emma's trapped in a wall. Deathclaw hands. Uh, rat scorpion. Did she say how many? Uh, we'll bring like 15. Your, uh, bug Hello birds. there, can I help you? Got some rad scorpion plans? Great, thanks. Do I have to give you like each one individually? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh. Hello there, can I help you? You can just keep giving her red scorpion glands. Um, bucket head. Dependent on speed of completion, no back. Okay, I guess we better get to it. sounds pretty fucking weird, but the guy we want you to whack is called Buckethead. He used to be one of Kane's disciples before he went astray or some bullshit. We never knew his name, and since he always acted so close, we decided to call him Buckethead. Guess uh, he was fooling us this whole time. Either that or some of the guards have been fucking uh, or getting high too, too much. I mean, fuck. Anyway, depending on how fast you kill this guy with the shipment he stole, you'll be paid well. So go fucking get it done. You got it? You got it, bitch? Signed, the motherfucking love. Oh, signed with motherfucking love, Robbie. Jesus, Robbie. <laughs> uh, you here before I pick me up? Oh, uh, you're selling it? I'm here for the drugs. Uh, no, I sold it. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Who bought them? No, please don't. <laughs> uh, chest hurt. What? Remember so that the peacekeepers have this day bargained and purchased from Buckethead of Township of Novak 
the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the items in question signed Nash Williams. Oh, Nash Williams. Is there more clues or oh. Let's go talk to Nash. Wait, where is it trying? They want me to go through Hidden Valley. What, through the readouts? <laughs> That's fucking stupid. Alright. Let's go see what our old pal Nash is up to. I heard Motor Runner got taken down. Going dark. Maybe the fiend. Never actually went through this door. You know you want a piece of this. Give me some sugar. Hey, man. What's up? Hey. Um. Dimitri's dead. What are you still doing here? Honestly, I wanted to move on. Really, I did. But this is a good place to practice. Plus... I don't want anyone of the Chianchi family to think we were responsible, so we're just chilling here until someone comes by to see what's what. Uh huh. Uh, I have reason to believe you brought you bought some stolen drugs that, <clears throat> that belong to Kane. I need them back. Shit, really? Kane? Look, I'm sorry, man, but we bought these fair and square. You just go tell your boss that. Well, <clears throat> uh, Uber Psycho has a tendency to cause heart attacks. The guy you bought it from is dead from one. Shit, really? Damn, get the shit away from me then. Alright, you take care. Can I, like, pick their bomb collars off? Hey, big guy. Looking for a good time? Enjoying the show? Um, yeah, can I take your collar off? Hey. If I wasn't working right now, I'd show you a real nice time. Okay. Fellowship of Cain. is out here. Have you heard Kane's sermon yesterday? All right, we'll check this out after. Oh, Jesus, the landmines? Who the hell put landmines out there? Ugh. do you want? What the hell's going on here? Alright, maybe you're not so useless. After all, you are able to pick up items. Here's your pay, bitch. <sighs> Accepted. Okay. Got any work? I may have something you can do for me. You want me to get rid of these guys? Hey, uh... Recruiter is not doing his job well out in North Vegas. I want you to take care of him. 
And keep this between us. I might give you something. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna uh, cut here. I'm gonna pick up the cans and stuff. So, um, next episode, we'll head over to North Vegas. I hope you all enjoyed, and you all have a great day.